Hello everyone, uh, this is Ravi Kulkarni, uh, lecturer in chemistry. So I welcome to my class. So that is the uh, first class of this uh, bridge course for chemistry. So especially this class is uh, dedicated for first year science students because they need to know about the principles of chemistry. So as the name indicates that bridge, bridge is nothing but a connection. It is like a Setu Bandha. In my high school level, college level, PC level, there is a connection between that. So that connection is nothing but you are going to uh, study your basic things. So that is the concept of bridge course for chemistry. So some of you uh, have, the, uh, have their own aims, like uh, you want to become a doctor, engineers, okay, Ayurvedic doctors, like this. But uh, anyhow, the chemistry is very uh, important for you to study here in your PC, uh, PC science because uh, if you want to become an engineer, there will be chemistry will be there. Okay, you should study chemistry. If you want to go for medical, uh, once again, chemistry is a major subject. You doctor agli, uh, engineer agli, in agli, but you the chemistry in all the PUC level get very important agli, very important This is a chemistry. Okay, so uh, then after this, uh, we came to uh, bridge course chemistry. Why it is required for you? Because of your uh, aims, utilization, you should study chemistry. Okay. Then uh, what is the importance of this chemistry? And you know that uh, in your high school level, you have studied uh, science as a subject like social science, English, Hindi, kind of like this. Uh, science as a one subject, but here you are going to study your science as a big course. It's like a branch, a big branch. In that you are going to study chemistry. So like this, physics will be there, chemistry, mathematics, biology, statics, computer science will be there. Okay, but we, we have studied there in your high school physics, chemistry, biology, simultaneously. So that belongs to one, uh, one group that is called science. But here you are going to study chemistry in detail in your uh, PUC science. Okay, that's why it is very important. And before uh, before to study this chemistry, what is the importance of chemistry? Why do you study chemistry? Okay, so the first you should understand it is this one. Okay, first come to our daily life. Okay, uh, we are going to inhale. Now in under Oxygen, तो वो तो ब्रीड आप बता रहे हैं। ऑक्सीजन बेग, मतलब एक्सेल मरते हैं तो वो बरगड़ा हाथ का देखना कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड, ओके? We are going to inhale oxygen, we are going to exhale carbon dioxide. So that oxygen and carbon, they are nothing but the elements which comes under chemistry. We are going to study in detail about their elements in the periodic table, okay? So that's why it is very important. And not only this one, we are going to when you morning wake up, you munjal atkshna, first to hear the truth best. Okay, that toothpaste is nothing but your base. Okay, your toothpaste is nothing but it is alkaline or you are going to call base. Okay, yeah, because the base of the way you are because there will be presence of substance will be there that you are going to very normal well about that. Okay, in the kitchen or again, one soda is not there. Okay, soda body. Okay, that soda is nothing but uh, in our chemistry you are going to call it as common name that is called baking soda or we are going to write the formula is. Sodium hydrogen carbonate NaHCO3. So that is called sodium hydrogen carbonate or soda we are going to call, which is present in the toothpaste. Okay, why we are going to take this one? I mean, why we are going to use the base in toothpaste? Why not assay? Because I can do science. I can do about you should ask questions uh, with yourself. Okay, then only you can understand the topics and the concept about the uh, science. Okay, why I can use more than When you wake up in the morning, you are going to Okay, because that toothpaste contains base which is going to neutralize acid which is going to produce it by the bacteria in your mouth. Under any other the body is too acidic or bacterial. How we are made? Under acids are produced. Under acids are now control. Under we are going to neutralize it. That's why we are going to use the base. That the base substance is called toothpaste. That is one of the one of the content. Not only this metalling. This is also one part of the toothpaste. So that the soda will be, I mean that the base will be present in the sodium bicarbonate. Okay, so that's why. And uh, you are going to consume the food. The food contains mainly proteins, carbohydrates, lipids. What are those nothing but? They are nothing but chemicals only. So the example, carbohydrates you may take. C six H twelve O six. That is nothing but glucose. Okay. C six H twelve O six. Here what it contains? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So once again. Okay, you are going to study details in the periodic properties, periodic table, so which is comes under chemistry. So and daily you are going to use uh, so many applications will be there. You are going to use mobile, mobile covers, everything it is made up of the 
chemistry only. Okay, that's why it is the importance of chemistry. Okay, then after all these, then we should know the uh, okay to know that why why do you study the bridge course of chemistry and what is the importance of chemistry? Then what is the definition of chemistry? Then chemistry is nothing but it's a branch of science which deals with the uh, composition. Composition. Suppose you take the our body. Our body is composed of eyes, nose, heart, liver, kidney, etc. Like this. Okay. Like this. That is the composition. Composition, structure, and properties of matter. Or overall, you can tell that it is a branch of science which deals with the study of atoms and molecules. So that is nothing but your chemistry. Okay. So in here chemistry, you can know this is the definition of chemistry. Then there will be main three branches will be there that you are going to study uh, in detail in your PUC first in science. That is the first branch. I am going to uh, divide it in this into three categories. This is a very important category also. First one I am going to write as organic. So in the chemistry we are going to mainly divide it into three types based on your PUC level. That is organic chemistry. Second one is inorganic chemistry and third one as a physical chemistry physical chemistry okay we are going to separate why we are going to distinguish here because to study in detail in a depth that's why we are going to classify as a three types organic inorganic physical and so many of them inorganic chemistry is there uh, industrial chemistry uh, industrial chemistry is there so many applied chemistry will be there okay overall so but according to your pc section you should study or um, you, you should go to digest with this organic inorganic and physical and come to here what is organic chemistry what is organic chemistry organic chemistry is nothing but it's a branch of chemistry it's a branch of chemistry uh, which comes under the chemistry which deals with the study of carbon elements so in organic chemistry we are going to deal all the uh, so it is a very compounds like carbon compounds what the carbon compounds okay this carbon compounds, study of carbon compounds is nothing but organic compounds and its derivatives its derivatives like hydrocarbons hydrocarbons you may know that you are going to use in your daily life petrol diesel there is another is not in daily life you are in paraffin liquid you are like that these are the derivatives of the hydrocarbons okay and you are hydrocarbons anta kareedive so these we are going to study in the organic chemistry then coming to the inorganic chemistry the second branch what is this uh, inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry is once again it is a study and the chemistry which deals with the all other elements all other elements we are going to study all other elements but except carbon element why because we are already discussed in the carbon and organic chemistry that's why remaining all other elements we are going to discuss in inorganic okay ee tarana avu namma carbon organic chemistry kalidrinda illi matte ulide ella elements namma namu